KO Airbrushing and Design Tutorials. Uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done one, so let's do something interesting. Something very creative and get the imagination going. Um, say for example, you're um, having a bit of an artist block, for example, and you're trying to find a way of getting through it and, and coming up with something to draw uh, or something to paint, whatever the case may be. Um, there's a few techniques that you can use and what I want to do today is go through some of the stuff that I do so that if I don't have anything in particular I want to paint I can come up with something extremely cool and interesting just by asking a few questions um, for people that have taken like graphic design and illustration and that kind of thing through through schools that's one of the things that they do teach in there is how to come up with a story basically so that's what I want to do today. Uh, I'm just going to get everything switched around here. I'm just going to use my notebook and we'll just go through a bunch of stuff and uh, and just give you an idea how I get to things that I do sometimes. All right. Okay. We'll get this thing moved and uh, we'll get right to it here. Okay. So just as an example here, um, we'll use a skull. I happen to have one here. So... <clears throat> It's a good thing to work with anyway. Um, you can get a lot of variety um, by using a skull. So basically, you want to do a skull, but you don't want to do just a skull, okay? So this is where you go in and you ask your six major questions. Who, what, why, where, when, and how. So for example, <clears throat> you can combine some of these as you're going as well. So let's say who. So what you want to do is you want to think, do you want to do something, this, this can also be related to genre. So basically with this, the question you want to ask is, do I want to do something from the past, the present, or the future? So say you want to do something from the past. Um, so then again, your who, your genre. Do you want Greek, Roman, Egyptian, um, Sumerian, Aztec, uh, Mayan? That's, that's kind of what I'm talking about with who and genre, right? So, for example, let's say we want to do somebody who is Roman. Just for the hell of it. <clears throat> so then, the next thing you want to look at is, again, who. But now, you can also... So, genre relates to when. So now, you got your who, and you want to add what so you want to go Roman you've got different things that you can use from the Roman era you can use gladiators you can use soldiers you can use the Emperor it, to me going Roman with the Emperor is not really anything special he, he wore a toga the ones that really stand out for me in the Roman are the soldiers they have a very very um, unique armor, um, unique colored armor, um, all that kind of stuff, right? So you got a Roman soldier, so that's your who, <clears throat> um, kind of your what, your when. So now you could look at something saying, okay, um, And I mean, you don't have to with these in any way, shape, or form. You can just go with this and then and then carry on with, you know, going into detailing them out or whatever, right? Is there a why that you want to use? Like, what is he doing? Um, where is he doing it? How is he doing it? Um, so, I mean, if you're going in into the fact of doing like an entire painting, not just a skull, but you want to do an entire scene, for example, right? 
you could do your wear. Um, so who are they fighting, for example? And they don't have to be fighting. They, they could be just doing whatever. But who are they fighting, for example, right? Um, why are they fighting? Well, we know why. Because the Romans were conquerors. They wanted resources and slaves to add to their army. So, that, I mean, that, that kind of just gives you a little bit of a, an idea. And how are they doing it? Um, so in this respect, you could look at, uh, are they attacking a simple village? Um, something fortified? Um, you know, things like that. <clears throat> and I mean, you can use this idea for any genre, right? So you could go Egyptian. Uh, you could go medieval. Um, and basically it goes on and on, right? Now, if you want something that's more in the present era, Um, now you can start bringing things like technology into it, um, high technology. So again, what do you want them to be? Um, pilot, um, astronaut, army, um, you know, there, there's all sorts of stuff like that. Is he on a boat? Is he on a, uh, you know. It, it could be anywhere, right? Um, and if you want to go into the future, then you'd be looking at things like high technology. Lasers, um, holograms, you know, things like that. Here with technology, we've got cell phones, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. So you're dating it too, right? So that, that has to do with your when. And then, again, your who, what, why, where, and go on from there. <clears throat> now, the other thing that I do, for example, like when I... We'll go back to our Roman soldier, and we'll say this is just going to be a skull. So then I go through and I ask other questions too. Um, because he's a soldier, does he have battle damage, right? Like, so, for example, does he have a big honking sword slash across the top of his head or in the face or something like that that's that's destroyed part of the skull? Um, does he have a lower jaw? Does he not? One, does he have any eyes? Does he have one eye or two eyes? Um, is he missing teeth, <laughs> depending on whether or not, he, you know, where the battle damage is on him? And then the other thing that you would want to look at is you would want to look at um, period correct accessories. So look at things that would actually be around in the Roman era and use that to make him accurate, but still a skull, right? So there's all sorts of things like that that you can ask. Just keep asking questions until you get somewhere where you go, okay, that's going to be a pretty neat thing to paint. <clears throat> and by doing that, and it doesn't matter what you're using, um, you could be doing a car, for example. Same questions. Um, then maybe your when might be a little bit more um, pertinent. So do you want a car from the 1920s? Do you want one from the 50s? Do you want one from present day? Do you want one from the 60s? Um, what brand do you want to, are there, right? So there's Ford, Chevy, Dodge, uh, Plymouth, Mercury, uh, Pontiac, Oldsmobile, uh, Buick. Um, you know, so you've got all these other brands. And then it would be a matter of picking one and then saying, okay, so I want to do a 1960s uh, Plymouth for example, 
so then you've got certain cars that you can work with. You've got like the Barracuda, um, you know, stuff like that. So you can actually go through and you can pick that way as well. And again, it's just stuff so that it makes it so that you, you can pick something to paint, something to sketch, something, you know, and, and not have a kind of an artist block. It doesn't take long to do. I mean, you, you ask the right questions and you can normally come up with something in the way of a story to fit your art. Now, the other way that you can do it is you can start with a story and then work your art the other way. I usually find that it's almost easier to work from nothing and into a story um, like Bob Ross used to do, right? Ooh, it's a happy little cloud. We'll just put him over here. You know, we'll do this, we'll do that. Um, but it's it's kind of along that same idea, right? Where you're, he, he was, Bob Ross would actually talk to himself while he was painting and he would make up stories as he was going. And that is not a bad thing to do. I mean, you don't have to talk to yourself to do it, but you can always come up with an idea beforehand and have something to work with, right? Um, so for example, again, if you wanted to do an animal, what kind of an animal do you want to do? Do you want to do a bird? Do you want to do a mammal? Do you want to do a lizard? Do you want to do a fish, a whale, you, you know, uh, again, there's, there's so many different things you can pick from. Do you want to do an insect? Um, the insect world is amazing for their colors. Uh, the bird world is amazing for their colors. Um, so, I mean, it, it's just a matter of sitting down and thinking, and that's, that's where I kind of think about with putting the story behind the piece of art, right? Like, I mean, just going through what we did here, you know, we've got a Roman soldier, um, so, I mean, you're going to be looking at all his weaponry, um, his armor, things like that that are going to make him uniquely Roman. So, just by doing that, even even if that's as far as you take your story, is that he's a Roman soldier, so he's got Roman uh, um, accessories and, and things like that, right? That's enough of a story to actually give you some direction to go with a drawing or a project or, or whatever you want to do, right? So I, I hope that kind of helped you out. I, I know a lot of people don't talk about this very much and how they get to a painting or, or to a project that they want to do. Um, so I, I just wanted to kind of throw this out there. So if, if you know anybody has any questions or anything on this kind of stuff, on how to come up with a story or just how to think through something, please feel free to ask. Um, and also, anybody that's on my YouTube page, please, um, if you have anything that you want to see done as a tutorial, please say so in the comments. And I will happily look into it, as long as it's art-related, airbrush-related, that kind of stuff, obviously. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, uh, I hope this helped out at all. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I will get back to you. Um, and I will be doing another tutorial next week, probably a week from now. Um, I'll figure out something else to do. And I, I kind of want to get into the more of the back stories of things and, and how you come up with stuff. Maybe we'll take this one step farther and we've got the Roman soldier thing and maybe I'll go through and I'll put a bunch more stuff together and maybe we'll start working on a, a painting of a Roman soldier skull or something like that. Um, or I'll come up with a few different ideas and I'll toss them out there for you guys and you can let me know what you think and uh, and we'll see about doing something along in the lines of a tutorial um, laying in a story like this. All right, um, like I said, if you have any questions, please feel free, leave them in the comments. I will get back to you. Um, please subscribe, please like the video if, uh, if you think anybody might get something out of what I'm doing. Um, share it, please. Um, YouTube really does have an algorithm that matters. So that would be much appreciated. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. And I will be back with another tutorial next week. Have a good day. Bye.